Yes. <laughs> really short. David Stewart's speech is about introducing himself, and like he said today, his most important focus on doing things is the feeling that he gets from what he does. And I like his speech in the fact that, same as the two other evaluators have said, it's not a typical C1 speech because you, over the course of this semester we've heard C1 speeches is my name is, my Chinese name is, my family is, my department is, and so on and so forth. There's a list. So I like, I think for all the future C1 speakers, if you haven't done your C1 yet, add a theme to your speeches. And today, David's theme was the feeling that he gets from the stuff that he do. Whether it's the happiness that he feels riding bicycle with his friends, or the, the fear, the feeling of fear, even the negative feelings. Negative fear um, that he feels when he watches scary movies or zombie series and so forth. Or also on the excitement he gets when he plays mahjong, and I like his voice. His voice is uh, his voice is cute. It's clear. We can hear what he's saying, and it's uh, it's very it, and his pronunciation of the words are very clear, so we can all understand what he's saying. He also has a little bit of vocal variety, like when he says "great" when he finally wins mahjong, or when he says "I win, I win, I win," and stuff like that. So. Of course, it's your first speech, so I have to give you a few suggestions to work on as you're going on further in the CC program. First of all, I think is um, a little bit more variety. You have good variety, but I think that during the course of your speech, you need to add uh, more positive, whether it's pace or um, in terms of how to add more acting in your, in your voices, try to add more. Because um, you had a little bit today, but I think that a little bit more could have made your speech a lot better. And of course, um, the PowerPoint. Every, everybody start with PowerPoint. Um, I think I've seen almost every C1 speaker starting with a PowerPoint when they start their um, communication program. But I think that um, later on in the series, try to use things without PowerPoint, or even try PowerPoints that doesn't have as much animation, that just uses that just use the PowerPoint as a background. Because the PowerPoint is here to help you. You can't just um, have a PowerPoint and keep staring into the PowerPoint every five seconds. And also, also another thing I think uh, you need to work on is eye contact. Because when I was sitting there, when I was trying to evaluate you, I noticed that most of, most of the time, your eyes were looking at the ground or not at the person. If you look at the person and feel shy about looking at the person, here's a small trick. Try to look at the area between the eyes. If you look at the area between the eyes, you're not looking directly at the person's eyes. So you feel like, oh my god, it's so personal. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the person wearing the eyes, it doesn't feel as personal. But then you can still give them the eye contact. So you can still give them the attention that they need. So, uh, also try not to stay on one side. Try not to stay on one side. There's a big stage. Use, it, use all of it. So, all in all, I think it's a great start to your CC program. And of course, I, I'm looking forward to the rest of your speeches. So work on the points that I gave you, then you'll become a great speaker. All right, back to GE.